Uh, my name is Christine Smith and I am demonstrating the Pergamano Parchment Craft Starter Pack um, and showing people exactly what you can do to um, produce these sort of cards that we've got here in the front. Okay, you find your pattern and you stick your parchment paper on top of the on top of the pattern. And you're using a white gel pen, you trace the pattern. As you can see, I've done the two flowers before, so I'll just do the happy birthday. And you see the happy has now come through. And then the next stage would be to colour it, draw yourself a flower. Like that. Turn it over. There's your colouring stick and you just do a little blob in the petal. Obviously I'm not going to be able to do anything fine with that. And then I've got kitchen towel made into a point and I've dipped it in an oil. This is the, um, called a dorso oil. You can also use essential oils just to dampen the end of the, of the kitchen towel. And I'm using that as a painting stick to move the colour around in the petals. So I'm filling out the petals with that bit of colour. So from those initial blobs, we'll turn it over. You can see you've got, it's like a little pretty pink on the petals. Okay. And your next step would be to do any embossing that you wanted. And that we do with a different tool. And again, I'll show you on some of the flowers. We can do lines out from the middle, like so, which gives you that sort of effect. Or we can emboss it a little bit more detail, let's just say around the edges of the petal by just going over and over again with the embossing tool. Just using a gentle up and down movement. The more you do it, the whiter it will become and it will work its way through the color. So where I'm doing the embossing, the color will change. I'll just do that final one just doing round the edges and perhaps I'll do the centre and then if I turn it over you can see how it's changed can you see where I've embossed it's gone white and then the final thing you need to do is to perforate it out of the paper and this is where you end up with this little serrated edge like that and for this you need a two, two needle tool like so and what you do is push it into the paper all the way down take it out in again going back into the hole of the needle before and work your way to the point or to the curve whichever way around it is I'll just go to the end here like that and then if I push with my finger, it will come out and you get that perforated edge. Mm -hmm. 